morning. It's turned out nice again. Mother, it's Tuesday, the 28th of May, 2019, and you're watching Carter.tv. It's early. It's early. No, I did not shit the bed. Uh, I've got up at seven today. Can you believe it? Seven o'clock. What the f what the f what's going on? Do you know what it is? I'll tell you what's going on. Dedication for you guys. That's right. So it's 8.56 a.m. now. So I might have got up at 7, but it took nearly two hours to get to my office. All right? Even though it's in the same building. Um, but I'm here. I'm motivated. And I'm ready to talk a load of nonsense to you. And we're going to start by talking about this boy. Now then, let me get his uh, his Wikipedia profile up. Because, you know, I'm organised like that. Maybe being a professional. Um, 23 years of age. Uh, born in Stuttgart, Germany, striker as we know. Um, he's from from 2016. Uh, he has made 93 appearances for his club and scored 50 goals. He has represented Germany under 15s, under 16s, under 17s, under 19s, under 21s, and the German, you know, the Germany, the seniors. Yeah. Um, Excuse me, 24 appearances for uh, Germany with nine goals. Uh, he became the youngest player ever to represent uh, VfB Stuttgart uh, when he made his senior debut in 2013 and then become the club's youngest ever goal scorer. He made over 100 appearances for the club. Uh, he holds the record for being the youngest player to reach 100 and 150 Bundesliga appearances as well as being the youngest player to score two goals in a top flight match in Germany. A prolific goal scorer, youth international level. Uh, he made his senior debut for Germany in 2017. In the same year, he helped Germany claim the 2017 FIFA Confederations Cup, where his return of three goals earned him the tournament's Golden Boot Award. Now then, now then, now then, now then, now then. How's about that then? We really shouldn't be like, like doing Jimmy Savile fucking jokes or anything really should we especially at this time of day <sighs> you know i'm a granddad guys you know I mean? i'm getting on you know i've got it's only old material i've got these days you know what i'm saying anyway so you know some of you have been saying in the comments what's your thoughts about it you know do we have a chance of signing him i think we do guys i think we do i think this is one of two uh, primary uh summer transfer targets for liverpool uh him being um, one of them and the licht See, I don't know how to pronounce his name. Uh, Ajax, okay? They're my two um, primary transfer targets. I think Liverpool are doing all they can to sign those two players. I mean, don't get me wrong, there will be other players, yeah? But, you know, primary. So, like, full effort, like, all out, like, let's go for it. I think them two are it. And um, we have seen uh, other central defenders linked as well. That's probably because the De Ligt situation... Uh, maybe a little bit too difficult. Who knows? I uh, did a video on that yesterday, so maybe you should take a look at that, really. Um, but I think those two are, the, uh, are the, the main targets for the summer. I do think, that, of course, that there'll be uh, other options, and uh, and we will wait and see. Now, in that video yesterday, or was it another video I did yesterday, um, I talked about you know rumours that Liverpool wouldn't spend big. All right? Now, I don't know if people... Um, maybe... Maybe um, maybe saying the word not spend big is the wrong, uh, was maybe the wrong wording. But a lot of people are saying that. The, the, the suggestion or the rumour is, there's a rumour going round, right, we, we like a good rumour, don't we? Unless it's about fucking me. Right, there's a rumour going round that um, the, the FSG won't um, back the managers so much in the, in the summer and that the manager said that he doesn't need to spend big and all that. So just forget forget about big, Right, forget about big. Concentrate more on the suggestion that um, just won't add many players to the squad. That's a better way of saying it. Won't add much to the squad. Yeah. So, but the, the, that kind of makes sense, doesn't it? Because we would say, well, we don't need to add a lot of players to the squad. Yeah. But there is a there's like a kind of underlying like like because of that because of money they don't want to spend much this year so this summer I am com I am convinced by that rumor personally I wouldn't pay much attention to it but again I touched on it yesterday um, I can't remember how much this boy was uh, speculated to uh, to cost uh, that is something that I'm not up to date with at the moment because 
As you know, I've been away on a jolly to New York for a couple of weeks. Uh, I have been back uh, a week now, but I haven't really seen much um, in terms of speculation concerning this guy at all. Um, so you, you probably know more about that than me. From what I remember, I, I'm, I'm sure that there was talking like 25, 30 million, but I honestly, it would be, don't quote me on that, because I don't know. Um, his current manager, Ralph Rangnick, he's leaving uh, the club in the summer and he's been replaced by 1899 Hoffenheim boss Julian Nag Nagelsmann? Nagelsmann? Look, you know, I'm like, with, with words, with, with surnames and, and names and pronunciations and stuff like that. Right, so he's leaving, but he's still got an opinion. And what he said, I think this was a week ago now, was our position is that if he doesn't renew the contract, he should change clubs. He would first have to agree with the club and this club would have to contact RB, which has not happened to my knowledge. We have some, we have, we have submitted an offer. I bet you got excited then, didn't you? We have submitted an offer, and we know that Timo would rather not extend, but that can still change. And he even says, you know, maybe he mentions two or three clubs that he may want to go to, and says Liverpool and Jurgen Klopp may be one of them. Uh, in the article on Cottalk.com. It says that he scored 16 goals in 30 Bundesliga appearances during the during the last campaign, the 2018-19 campaign, and provided seven assists. All right. Now I think a few days after that, because uh, I haven't read this one or these these comments. This was Friday, May 24th. So this is after then, a few days ago. Um, the same guy, his manager, doesn't think that he will go to uh, Bayern Munich because they've been favourites to sign him. And he said, I would not be so sure that he will actually go to Bayern. If Bayern were absolutely sure about Timo, they would have already officially contacted us with a request. Anything else would be unusual for Bayern, especially since we have a good relationship with them. Our position has not changed. We do not want him to go in the last year of his contract uh, without an extension. Um, and there's previous quotes there from uh, a few months back uh, from the club's um, chief executive, when he was saying that the club, you know, a club like us cannot afford to go into a final contract year. And basically they're trying to get him to sign a new deal. All right. And if he doesn't sign it, the suggestion is that he needs to be moved out as quickly as possible, which obviously makes uh, a lot of sense. Now, this guy and De Ligt, I don't know how to pronounce that one. Ah, I fucking do. Right. From Ajax. They, them two are our two primary transfer targets this summer in my opinion, right? So yes, there'll be other players that we've been linked with. Yes, there'll be other players that the club will try and sign. We, you know, you need secondary targets and shit like that if you can't get your main man. De Ligt, for example, uh, could be very difficult uh, to broker to make that happen. So you may have seen uh, uh, on coptalk.com yesterday, there was another centre-back linked. Um, so that's, a, you know, already that starts to sound a little bit like Liverpool keeping their options open. This one, I think we've got a good chance of it happening. I actually really do believe that. And there was, oh God, what was it? Was it, did his representative not attend one of the Liverpool games at Anfield this season? I can't remember. I've got a feeling he did. I've got a feeling he did. And, see how things come back to your memory as you're talking about them. And if I, uh oh, fixtures and results. Let's have a look. We, when did we play, um, sure past fixtures, a few months ago, um, spoke about this in a previous video. There we go. There, in March, Wednesday, thirteenth of March, we obviously played Bayern Munich away. All right, and I think it was that game. I'm, I'm, it, it has to have been that game. I'm, I might even have spoke about this in a recent video on here. That within twenty four forty eight hours of that game, the suggestion was that Michael Edwards had gone back to Germany or went to Germany. Which sounded a bit strange. Now I don't know whether he was in the original travelling party that, that went for that fixture anyway, but if he did, let's just say he went back within a day or two of that game, and if he didn't travel with them, he then went made a, a new journey himself within one or two days of that game to Germany, not to Bayern, you know, not to to, their, to that club. Um, either way, he went out there, which is just to me sounds a bit strange because if he went with them, why would he then go back? And if he didn't go with him, why did, and he was going to go there anyway, why not just fly out with him in the first place? Do you get me drift? It sounds a bit complicated. So, 
he was up to something in Germany, right? So you know, people like a bit of gossip and a bit of a rumour and stuff like that. And they're on a member's website chatting about it and stuff. You know, the suggestion was that maybe this was some was related to this uh, particular uh, player, who is an exceptional player. If you don't know much about him, you need to look him up on YouTube. Now I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, hang on, don't we could watch videos of you on YouTube and get your best bits? Well, maybe not be best bits, but you know. You can, you can look at a player on YouTube and it can be a bit misleading, but to be honest, he's a great player, right? And I would like to see him recruited. And I think the, uh, there is a, a possibility he was doing that, right? So that's my view. That's it. People saying to me, what do you think? I think, in a nutshell, he's one of two primary transfer targets for the summer for Liverpool. And I think that we have a good chance of signing him, whereas the other one, De Ligt, I think that could be a little bit tricky and I'm not really, you know, I'm hopeful, but kind of like being realistic and thinking that that might not happen but who knows who knows because the boy said this week that he's not motivated by money and that he'll join his next club uh, based on um, on his career and he also said um, that he that Barcelona wasn't a dream move to him which has been you know uh, suggested so anyway uh, I don't want to waffle on too long because uh, for some reason the uh, the camera freezes on some of my videos and then you get my face like that, which is terrible. Uh, well, you don't see it, I guess, but it is for me. It scares me. The minute I said about it freezing, do you know what it did? It froze. Furious. But hey-ho. I, uh, I will try and find uh, a resolution as to uh, what's happening with that. Okay, guys. Um, have a good day. Let, let me know your thoughts about this boy. Um, like I say, I think I think we've got a good chance for this one. We'll have to wait and see. Um, out of all the current, this is the key word here, current. So don't try and get me later. Right? Out of all the current transfer speculation, I think that he is the most likely to come in at the moment. Current speculation. All right, that can change. We might get a new uh, a new link later today. It might sound a little bit more. Um, positive or whatnot but from the current speculation i think that um he is a primary uh, transfer target and that we are trying to recruit him and i think we've got a good chance of doing so but we shall wait and see and no doubt over the coming weeks we will address this one again all right guys i uh, i will uh, finish off and uh, i'll speak to you a bit later all right guys love you sweet to you soon all right.